Welcome back to this QuickBooks tutorial. This is the fourth video in this tutorial. If you're joining me now, then please go back and find video one. It'll make a lot more sense to you and be a lot more beneficial if you start from the beginning. Welcome back. In the previous videos, I showed you how to set up the business. In this case, it's Essex Business Services with my logo and other company information. I'm now going to show you how to add customers, how to edit customers and QuickBooks online, and how to raise sales invoices. So everything's found on the left here. We have our dashboard, banking, invoicing, and other things. All the sales ledger, so everything to do with sales, is under invoicing. So if I click on that, you'll then see there's a new page here with lots of sub pages such as invoices, customers, all sales, products and services. If you're using a later version of QuickBooks Online, it may look slightly different. Perhaps they've modernized it since I created this tutorial. Perhaps there's a couple more options, but the layout should be very similar. They very rarely change the layout of these accounting software packages. So it might look slightly different, but it shouldn't be um, enough to confuse you. So under invoices or invoicing, there's invoices and customers. Invoices will show all the invoices raised, all the sales invoices raised on the software. This is currently blank because this is new software with nothing on it. But you'll see as we start raising invoices, they're up here on here. Then there's a customer tab, which will show all our credit customers. Once again, this is blank because nothing's being put on. So let's add a customer. So our first customer we're going to add on, let's say it's A, B, C, computers. You can add the customer phone number. I'll just make something up and the customer email address. And then all you need to do is click add customer. Your customer screen will now look like this. You have some important information at the top here, such as the amount billed in the last year, the amount paid in the last 30 days, just some totals at the top here. You don't need to use these, but they can be handy, especially if you're more involved in management accounts or credit control, something like that. But this customer screen, now looks a bit different. Once we raise an invoice, this screen will also look a bit different. So that's how we have added our first customer. If we want to add more customers, all we do is go to the top right here and click on new customer. We can then add the customer information. So the next company that we wish to add, let's say it's SM accounting it could be our accountants display name is sm accounting you may need to change that we can add our contact at sm accounting let's say it's sam morton which is me we can add the address for sm accounting and just put all the information in here the postcode The email address at SM Accounting. So let's just do info at smaccountinguk.com. The phone number. It's all very self explanatory and everything is with the, this software. Just add in all the details. You can put their website in too. If they have a different shipping address to billing address, you can add that in there as well. Once you're happy, just click save and then the customer will be added to QuickBooks Online. And you'll see if I go back to invoicing and back to customers, I now have two customers. We got Sam Morton at SM Accounting and also ABC Computers.